welcome into Gaming with Derek. This is episode three here on uh, the News 5 Facebook page. Uh, this week I've got uh, MLB Network uh, anchor Robert Flores. You see him most of the time during season on MLB Central. And then, of course, he's been doing some work during the off season on MLB Tonight, again on MLB Network. Uh, we're going to get into it right now. Robert, uh, how are you doing today? Derek, how you doing, man? Doing well, thanks. I'm doing well, doing well. This should be a good one, uh, taking on uh, MLB The Show today, but obviously talking some sports, uh, uh, some background on the game. You've got a Diamond Dynasty team, so basically the best of the best taking on my best of the best. So there should be no excuses uh, on who wins this game, right? Uh, unless I lose, then I will have plenty of excuses. So <laughs> oh, I'll have plenty too if, if I lose. As well, uh-huh. But uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so Robert, just tell me in, in general, like, how did you how did you get into gaming? Well, I mean, I I go back to the days. My very first game console was in television by Mattel. It was uh, – I got it for Christmas of Christmas in 1980, and um, I, I, you know, I thought it was the greatest thing ever. So uh, I've kind of gone through just about every console there is, uh, Sega Genesis, PS1 and 2, and original Xbox. So um, it, it's something that I have always enjoyed, and and I, I just like it that it's – with all this new technology now, you can really connect with with fans and different gamers in a whole new way. Right, right. and especially in this way. I mean, this is this is how we we've, we've connected. Uh, but real yeah. quick, for uh, viewers on Facebook, you guys can comment uh, along as as we play and as we discuss Indian sports, anything like that. Any questions or comments you have, uh, I'll definitely be monitoring the chat for that one. Look at this, Mike Trout starting off the. Bat yeah, man, this off. Cl- this card, cl- yeah, this Trout card is super glitchy. It's it is, yeah, it's filthy. <laughs> it's a filthy, filthy card. <clears throat> See, I just got the Mike Trout card, but I can't give up Griffey in center. Yeah, you know what I do is I put Griffey, like I think I have Griffey playing left field. Right. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I've got Griffey in center, Willie Mays in left, and uh, Ichiro in right. Ah, a little off speed there. <laughs> there we go, right off the <laughs> So obviously this is, this is a big week for baseball fans is um, – Everybody yeah. was reporting to spring training. Obviously, the Indians uh, pitchers and catchers reported yesterday, as does everybody this week. But obviously, there's a there's a lot of hype, a lot of moves that happened in the off season. Uh, I'm putting you on the spot, like early. Who uh, who ends up in the World Series in your opinion? If you had to do well, it. I think if you to look if you if you have to pick, and and I do, I will say as fire baseball is. Really a joy to watch. Not oh my gosh, you with that off speed stuff. Oh, what are uh, you doing, Jackie? <clears throat> what what's up with Jackie not being fundamentally sound there? Come know, on, make the play. Make the play, Jackie. Get one. <laughs> uh, no, I will say because baseball is such a long season, uh, so many different things can happen. I, I do think it's the most difficult sport to predict over you know, over over long term, but I will say I think it's overwhelming. Uh, that the Dodgers and the Yankees are the heavy favorite. Uh, now, that's not to say that someone other team might not surprise. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe, maybe someone like the Oakland A's or the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, you know, my pick, uh, my picks right now are that uh, uh, the A's win the West and the Rays – Oh, swinging 3-0, and what do you know? Go. Boy, no there one hits go. into more double plays than I do. Um, you know, I have the Yankees beating the Rays in the American League Championship Series, and I have the Dodgers, of course, running away with their division and then advancing to the World Series. So, I mean, as it stands now, I don't think it's a stretch, like I said, to, to say it's it's the Yankees and the Dodgers. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been rooting for the Dodgers every year that they go to the World Series when my team the Mets don't go. That's who I root for and and they put a Oh, is that your 
Now you have a second team? No, no, Is no, that no I don't have a second team. I don't have a second okay. team. Okay. I was gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to, say, I'm gonna have to end, end this game here. If the Mets don't make the postseason, then I've been rooting for the Dodgers. The last oh, okay, that makes away. sense. Uh, that I've makes got, sense. What do we have? I got Russell McDermott on Facebook says the Jackie Reds. The Reds. Team. Yeah, I, I think that they are a... Um, First of all, I don't even think that they're a dark horse favorite to win their division. Um, I, I think that they're the favorite in the Central right now. When you look at all the moves that they have made, oh, you and these blue pits. I hate blue pits. Guys like Ichiro and Jackie Robinson, I hate facing them because you get those little punch and Judy hits. Um, yeah, so I, I think Cincinnati, with what the offseason that they've done, or have had, I, I think that they are the favorite in that division. Right. Um, you know, last year, pitching wasn't, starting pitching wasn't their problem. Uh-oh, we got someone on the move. Ah, oh, he's in that there. Bad. Um, so, <clears throat> I, I'm really interested to see what Cincinnati does. Uh, you know, the Cubs. I think they're, I, I think you could see a big move with Chris Bryant. Maybe sometime, you know, before the season. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see <sighs> where Chris Bryant goes. I mean, it's one of those. <laughs> this year's offseason was so much different from last year's offseason. I feel like a lot of the free agents and things like that signed late. That didn't happen this year. But now you're looking at. Uh, that's good. Uh, there we go. Um, now you're running into now you're running into a situation where he needs a third baseman. Now, granted, he's a big enough name that you'll make room for. Him, yeah, you know what I mean. But well, I, I think that um, I think a logical, just on paper, I think the Braves make a lot of sense uh, for Chris Bryant landing spot. Um. You know, they have the kind of young, controllable assets, a really deep farm system that could be attractive for the Cubs. Ah, <laughs> been showing me off speed all day. And you come with the heat. Yeah. Taking mental notes up here. There we go. I'll tell you what, though. There's one guy. Uh, just look at your bench. I cannot pitch to Frank Thomas. Like, ever. Oh, really? It doesn't matter who uses Frank Thomas. It's now always a home run. Swing, like no matter, so I just intentionally one. walk him every time. Yeah, there's some guys that, <laughs> and, and on the flip side, I think that there's some guys that uh, that you can't hit with. Right. Like for me, I've got Tony Gwynn on the bench, but I can slap some singles, but I can't do anything with power with that card. And I don't know a bunch of people that hit a ton of home runs home runs with Tony Gwynn. Yeah. So. yeah, I'm the same way with uh, the Ichiro cards. So the, 90, yeah. the 93 Ichiro is a glitch, hands down. The 99 Ichiro, he has way too much power, so everything is an out for me now. So I got to make yeah. that, I got to make that switch. Um, throw us, that was a strike. Oh, what was that? Blue. Blue, come on. Even I said that was a strike. <laughs> Um, so here, in, see, <laughs> now good pitch. the makeup call right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> here in Cleveland, um, one of the biggest news uh, was seeing Dirtbag uh, Jason Kipnis finally move on. Obviously, he was a free agent and signs a minor league deal with the Cubs, or reportedly signs a minor league deal with the Cubs. Um, yeah, I mean, I know he's a Chicago kid. Uh, <clears throat> so. Kind of made some sense there. You know, he was really part of some really, really, really good teams uh, there in Cleveland. Of course, part of that 2016 team. So, um, you know, it's kind of a, it's an end of an era. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to swing at that. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of the nature of the business. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, definitely one of those fan favorites here. Um, was kind of up and down the last couple of seasons. But, yeah. you know, pulled it back together um, at the end of uh, last season. Um, and kind of helped with that. Ah. Push the Indians were trying to make. Maze waits on it. 
trouble with there this one, and the right. inning is over. See, now this is one of those games where you're like, man, we're only going six. We might be going extras. <laughs> like, the way, the way I this know. going. <laughs> so. Digging in. Albert yeah, Alex oh, Albert this Albert Pujols card is pretty good. <clears throat> I, I started off like 0 for 15, 0 for 16 with him, and then kind of caught fire a little bit. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, that was a good Oof. pitch. I could have that, done something with that, that one. That cutter. Sometimes when you throw that cutter to a right-handed batter, the you don't get it in enough, and it just kind of ends up hanging out over the plate. Right. Ah, uh, now I'm Another swinging one fouled junk. Off and he's quickly behind 0 2. All right, so your thoughts on um, Frankie Lindor? I mean, he's got one more year of control after this year with the Indians, but it, it does not yeah. seem like he's going to. That's a pop up. It doesn't seem like he's going to be here uh, past this year. It, if yeah, he I, I, th that, I think that's uh, a logical assumption. Um, look, I, I give Cleveland credit for. You know, they tried to really try to thread the needle here, right. um, especially, you know, last year's with the deals that they made, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, but I, I think, and look, it's easier said than done, but I think that they should, uh, I, I think that they should look to move him. Uh, you, you talk about two years of club control, including this year. I mean, you get for a team, any contending team, two years of Francisco Lindor, I would think that would create uh, a nice little return package for, in compensation. So, but at the same time, uh, uh, he, he is, he's, he's the face of the franchise. So what are you doing? You know, it, it's a very tough thing to sell your fan base because in a lot of respects, while, while baseball fans, uh, especially these days, they're, they're savvy and knowledgeable, but, man, it, <clears throat> you're talking about, okay, guys, we just traded the face of our franchise. Let's go, 2020, woohoo! Right, right. You know, so it, it's, it's extremely tough. Yeah. Uh, and the one thing that uh... – the front office does well here in Cleveland is, is they do get really good return on their players. So obviously they're 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 waiting to see if they can get the best offer. And obviously oh, that was my pitch. Um, and obviously there there were some rumors with the Dodgers there, but the Dodgers didn't want to give up Gavin Lux. Um, so yeah, ended up being a deal breaker. Is there also a sense that like I mean. In the last three years, the Indians have saved like fifty, sixty million dollars. Do you think that's part of their game plan? Oh, what am I doing? Do you think that's part of their game plan at all? Is that maybe they're trying to save some extra cash to maybe? I, I mean, put an offer out there. I, I, I think it's just. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I, I think that you can teams can get a sense of what a player's market is and what a player is willing to accept. Right. Uh, good lord, man. Um, and if, if they know what they're, what they're comfortable putting out there or offering, and if that player isn't going to take it, then it's like, all right, well, we need to, we need to move on. Right. Um, you know, it, it's it, 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 it. Like I said, it's a very, very difficult thing that Cleveland kind of finds themselves in, the position they find themselves in. Yeah. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. All right, just an update because it's a little there, bit hard for people to see. Ah, they can see the score. Zero, Faces zero in the third. We're playing a six inning game. We're getting a pitcher's duel here by uh, Matt. Yeah, and, and, we're, we're and both uh, we're both setting offensive baseball back a good fifty years here. <laughs> Uh, oh, line good line drive field. by Matt. Ah, uh, come on. So Alex Nixon <coughs> on, on Facebook says, to go back uh, one topic, Will uh, do you think so Kipnis will make the, the Cubs the opening now. day roster? In um, <coughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't know where he would play. I mean, well, I guess he can play the outfield. He, he, could, uh, play, he could play a little outfield, maybe. Yeah, he certainly can play the infield. You could put him at second. Yeah, I could see that. 
maybe you know, as as a bench player or if someone gets hurt. I could see that. I could see that happening. Uh, other things going on, obviously. Oh, I thought I got it. I didn't get it. Wait, did I get it? You did. I didn't get it. I got it! Let's go! I told you that Trout card was glitchy, man. I told you. No doubt. No doubt. Um, one of the other topical things... Uh, that new playoff yeah. proposal for 2020. What, what were your Everyone loves it, right? I, I saw it and I loved it. And I'm a and I'm a baseball traditionalist, to be honest too. But I love the idea. I also like yeah, the idea me too. of like teams getting to pick their opponents. I think is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, li listen. Um, first of all, it is a proposal. Uh, second of all, what is proposed now doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be. Uh, the final product, if and when uh, the players' union and the league decide on it, because it has to be collectively bargained. Um, <clears throat> good pitch. Um, but y the other thing is, uh, look, especially these days, everyone hates everything new. Everyone thinks that everything that that was uh, – you know, happened years ago was the best thing, and everything new stinks. Right. So you got to kind of take that into consideration. Um, I will say that I, I don't, I do not think that there is a better thing in all of sports than playoff baseball. So if you're going to tell me you're going to give me more of that, I'm all in. I, I, I love it. I love that idea. Um, like you, I love the idea of. Uh, a team picking their opponent, opponent, mm -hmm. and that reality TV aspect to it, kind right. of a, and also uh, a March Madness Selection Sunday aspect as well. Right. Um, I will say, the one thing that that troubles me, or I think needs to be looked at, or and or maybe tweaked, is that. The team, oh my gosh, not the bloop. The team with the best record is going to have all this time off. Sometimes that can be a bad thing. So, um, I think that, yeah. Are they really getting that much time off, or is it almost the same amount of time? If um, I'm trying to think, well... Season ends. I think, well, it'd be the same amount of time if there was, like, a game 163, right? And they're waiting out, like, teams to, to finish their tiebreakers. Then I think it's the same amount of time. I think I, I, like I said, I, I, I think that the there should be rewards uh, for, for, for uh, being the best team over the course of 162 games. So that team should be rewarded. Right. Um, but like I said, I, I just don't want it to have that team sitting for four to six days. Right. And uh, <clears throat> so I, I think that really needs to be looked at just to make sure that 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 is the best thing and, and that that team has the most advantages. Um, but everything else, I, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, like I said, the, uh, the extra wild cards, the, the teams picking their opponents. So I like it. Yeah. It gets extra teams. It gets extra teams in. It would have gotten my Mets in. It would have gotten the Indian, the Indians in. So that's yeah. all good things there too, as well. Oh, good pitch. Absolutely. Dawson. Absolutely. <laughs> now this game's fine. <laughs> now we're getting into the middle innings here. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, obviously, big interest here in, in Cleveland about the whole the Houston Astros sign stealing uh, scandal uh -huh. that's out there. And obviously, we've seen the punishment. We've seen the players the come out and, and, and apologize or at least address it. Some of the former players have apologized, most of the pitchers. Um, for the first time in franchise what do you think about the whole thing? And do you think do you think the punishment was enough? Um. <clears throat> first of all, I think it's uh, it was a you know some bad look for the Astros, for the game itself, um, but the fact that 
Oh, come on. <laughs> the fact that uh, Major League Baseball completed their investigation. Um, Houston loses two draft, uh, loses draft picks for the next couple of years. That's very significant, considering they have one of the worst farm systems now in all of baseball. Um, I think that's very significant. Obviously, they have a new general manager. New manager. Oh, blue. That was not a strike. Um, but uh, I, I think <clears throat> I think now what has to happen is those players, those key players involved, have to um, <clears throat> excuse me, have to address it, have to apologize, have to now. In baseball terms, they say wear it, you know, and they are going to be booed uh, mercilessly at every opposing ballpark, maybe even in their own ballpark. But that's that's part of the punishment. They're going to have to live with that. And uh, now it's just uh, it's all about moving on. And they have something to prove. Look, the investigation said that uh, uh, detailed their – their rule breaking in 2017 did not say anything about 2019. Oh, enough with those. So <clears throat> they uh, look, they won 100 plus games in 2019. And if you believe the investigation, which I do, uh, it, there was not anything nefarious uh, in their dealings in 2019, but they clearly have a lot to explain for and should apologize for in 2017. Uh, how much trolling is there going to be at games? Do you think? I think fans are going to. What's that? I said, how much trolling is going to happen at games? Fans are going to try to sneak trash cans into. Oh, I mean, you know, fans are fans are the, the trolling has already begun. But I, like I said, it's um, they gotta they have to wear it. They have to own it. So, oh, we gonna go first to third? We gonna test Griffey? No, 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 no. We're not gonna test Griffey. Yeah, he would have We're not gonna test Griffey. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Schmidt, his last you know what? I'm going to get someone up in my bullpen just in case. Yep, I'm thinking the same thing. <clears throat> just in case. Yep. Right Let me do the same. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back <clears throat> shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible All right, so when you, look at, when you look at the American League Central, obviously yeah. the Indians – finished multiple games behind the Twins last year. It deliver. seems Here's like the, the Twins got pitch. that much better Ball with some one. of their they additions. Did. Josh Donaldson the being zone. one of them. Uh, yeah. Didn't seem like the Indians did much. And then, on, I mean, Delano DeShield Jr., uh, you know, Emmanuel Classe, sure. In the dirt. Um, Goes to but nothing it, blockbuster. And, oh, and, then, the and then the White Sox yeah. also uh, <laughs> made some yeah. big moves. So where do you think the Indians kind of fall in the central right now? Um, I think they're the second best team right now as it stands. Oh, I knew you were going to come inside. Gosh darn it. Uh, Gets out of jail. Um, I think they're the second best team behind the Twins. Um, that's not to say that uh, they can't challenge for a wild card or, you know, like I said, we, injuries happen. Things happen. Guys burst onto the scene. But uh, as things look right now, I, I think it's the, the Twins division to lose. But I would not count out Cleveland because I like their starting pitching. Uh, I like Clevenger. Uh, I, I thought Plesak came onto the scene and, and – uh, and was very effective. You got Bieber, you got Carrasco, so that that rotation can still get things done. <clears throat> um, is that, you know, you look at the Yankees' rotation, the Astros' rotation is still strong, Dodgers are up there. They've got to be in the conversation for best rotation in the majors, at least one, two, three, when you talk Clevin, Bieber, and Carrasco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that the – Look, I think Cleveland's rotation is better than Houston's, as it stands now. Um, <clears throat> look, New York, uh, the, the Yankees, you would figure, had the best rotation just by adding the best pitcher in the game. Right. But, uh, oh, good Lord, are we going to have another blue fest? This is the only way I'm getting on base right now. <laughs> Jeez. That's all right. Who is coming up? Coming to the plate now, Robert Pujols. 
All right, what do we got? So uh, let's let's talk about uh, your your Expos inspired uniforms here. Yeah, I look. I grew up in the '70s. I'm a '70s kid. Um, I'm a sucker for anything oh, powder baby. blue. Oh boy! Oh boy! Ooh, that fastball! Look at where that fastball was, man. Jeez. Um, so I'm a sucker for anything powder blue, and I always thought that the Expos had one of the coolest looking uniforms. Right. So do you have to, I'm just curious for my own sake, did you create those or did you find them online and download them? Um, yeah, no, I created them, just kind of messing around with the color. <clears throat> they do have the ability to, you do have the ability to, uh, Download the logos. Those are kind of in like in a logo vault within a game within the game. So I forgot to upload, uh, upload mine for uh, next year's game. <laughs> yeah, I, so I I really like these. Ooh, blooper. All right, we're making some noise. All right, we got we got th you're threatening here. Coming up. This is my favorite card in the game. Like, I'll never use the Alex Bregman. The Alex Bregman card looks really good. Donaldson hits so yeah. well for me. Yeah, I, I, like I said, it, there's some cards that you just don't hit well with. <clears throat> so... Ah, oh, shouldn't have swung at that. Dang it. Alright, there we go. Good pitch. Way to get out of that one. <clears throat> Someone in your chat, I think Alex, who has seen me play online, says uh, Roflo will make a base running error, and that is that is entirely possible because uh, I I I make crazy kind of mistakes on the on the base paths. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I I I stream about three or four times a week right. on my Facebook page. It's right. primarily. Uh, MLB the show, but I'll play some other sports games. 2K, occasionally Madden. Right, right. Misses down and in for a ball. I think we're gonna it's we're gonna, gonna make a pitching change here. Pitching change. Oh, this yeah. is the sneaky good card here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, so there's a guy that's a free agent now that was currently on that was on the Indians roster last year that has gone nowhere, and it's Yasiel Puig. You know, there was some. Yeah, there's some interest there with the Marlins, maybe. Why do you think he hasn't landed anywhere, and and why haven't the Indians done anything? Right. Um. That's a good question. I mean, is there something behind the scenes still with his personality because he's been so up and down when he was in a in no. A I, I I love I love Yasiel, and and uh, you know I I think that you know by all accounts at least. <clears throat> Everything we heard, he was he was good in the clubhouse in Cleveland. I think he's yeah. still a very talented player. Um, it's it just comes down sometimes to economics, to situations, both. Um, but he'll find a spot. Oh come on, man! You're, other than the home run, you're the king of the ground out right now. I know, man. Jeez, good lord, get up in the zone, dude. Oh. Got two All innings right. to get something going. Yeah, so I, I think, um, you know, uh, and, and we while we haven't really seen it um, as much as we did last year, there were a lot of really good players that, did, you know, started spring training late. Right. So... <laughs> Two out, nobody on. That's the worst when you're playing these short games and they're like, your pitcher's getting tired after five pitches. Yeah, yeah, I had that with my last, with the last pitcher in the last inning. It's like, come on. Yeah, Brian brings up a good point on your chat. Uh, Puig might have a nice fit in St. Louis. Um, I think the Cardinals, I think the Cardinals need offense, right? Badly. Uh, they don't have Marcelo Zuna. He's now in Atlanta, so... Oh, how'd you lay off that one? Ah, uh, good eye. Good eye. <clears throat> oh, another one. 
This is every pitcher's nightmare. Here's the 3 2. And not just up there swinging at anything that you throw to. Get there, Griffey. Fall, 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 fall. Oh, come on, That's man. Why I have Griffey in center, whoever said that Willie Mays is in center. Ah. <laughs> 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 Um, we talk about Lindor being the face of the franchise, but the Indians have another guy that could potentially be the face if he were to leave. That's Jose Ramirez. Uh, yeah. Who they've slotted now at third base, used to be a middle infielder. Um, last year, he had a really slow start at some point. Yeah, it w he had a weird year, man. Um, <laughs> he was hitting below the Mendoza line at one point and turned it around. It was crazy. Um, you know, he had moments where he, he picked it up. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, it was it was strange because he is such a talent, and uh, I mean, look, they they need him. They need him to be all all star Jose Ramirez. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you you mentioned the the subtractions and right, right. and uh, you know who knows what they're going to do with Lindor. So yep, I'm going to give you a term here. You're pitching the Vlad the Dad. And uh, you gotta be careful. Vladdy Daddy. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a good card. I don't have it, but I've played with it a couple times in in uh, Battle Royale. Good card. Yeah. Obviously, great arm in the outfield. Walk a lot of batters. Usually, a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, uh, Oof. Way, to, way to fight that off. That twins are winning the division. Go Twins, says Mac Minder. Yeah, uh, Mac, uh, look, I, it, it's not a – I don't think you're going out on too big of a limb to say that they are yeah. the heavy favorite. Right. Um, when you look at their – they're adding Maeda. They have um, – so digging in now, uh, no hits to this Jose Barrios, who I think if he can take that next step, <clears throat> they become really, really dangerous. Uh, they also have Rich Hill. Now, Rich Hill is not going to be uh – uh-oh. Did I hit him? Good Lord. Jeez. Now I've got to deal with his nonsense on the base paths. Yep. Oh, got him. He gone. Uh, um, so yeah, the the twins are are they're they are stacked. They are stacked, yeah. man. Yep. <clears throat> <sighs> Forgot he was warming up. <laughs> All right. Kenley Jansen. Got Clevenger rolling in your stream, huh? Yeah, Standing yeah, I had him up there for a sec. Um, yeah, he really took a step. <clears throat> yeah, but it was he, uh, kind of that next level. Yeah, and it's one of those things, I mean, for whatever you think about Trevor Bauer one way or the other, I was a fan of him on the mound in terms of his arsenal and things like that. And these two, these two were tight, you know what I mean? So Clevenger, yeah. I think, learned a lot from Bauer. And, sure. and, now, and now you're seeing, now you're seeing uh, the results on the mound. No, I, th I think... Uh, I think Clevenger is, like I said, part of a, a rotation that is among the tops in the American League, or really all of baseball. Three-one, <clears throat> three-one to Junior. Ah, I knew you were going to come in with that nonsense. Dang! It was late. Problem is, I'm running out of time. That's the problem. It was late. <clears throat> Into the box now, Andre Dawson. He's one for two in the ball game. Right. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Uh, yeah, the Kenley Jansen card is is good too. So it's just like hitters, right? There are certain pitchers that you just you right, you throw better with, and I'm an off-speed guy. Um, Tom Seaver, the signature series Tom Seaver card. I am nearly unbeatable with that card. Really? See, he's kind of up and down yeah. for me. He struggles early in the innings, and then when he settles in. Um, but, like, I'm a Kershaw guy, obviously Cy Young, but it depends on, on how on how people hit the, the off-speed. But I can't I can't go wrong with Clayton Kershaw. He's the best card in the game in my opinion. 
I get so tired of 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 the click of the Kershaw card. Um, it seems like I draw him every time I play online. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! At least we got one. We got one. Unbelievable. He's <laughs> got one. Where was that? That slider down and in? Yep. Yep, that's exactly what it was. So we were talking before we got on the stream, uh, something not related to baseball, but you mentioned uh, Miles Garrett. Obviously, he got reinstated today, Yeah. Um, which was huge for the Browns. It's also huge for my game in Madden, because I had streamed with someone last week, and I had to use Madden without uh, without Miles Garrett on the roster, which uh, oh, because it's the live rosters. But uh, Oh, that anyways, was a strike. Just obviously, that's a big pickup for their defense to have him back, and and oh yeah, as to what happened, as to why he was suspended in Denver. Yeah, and that, I have never seen anything like that. Um, by you know, I can't imagine what was going through his mind. Um, but he, you know, I'm sure he was remorseful and. Man, you just hate to see that. So hopefully he's learned his lesson. I mean, it could have been. Oh my God, could have been so much worse. Blow, darn it, man. There we go. There we go. Six hits. Six hits in one run. Part of the order. Part of the order right here for me. This is, this is what we call Jackie. Focus we got Jackie. Bro, flow. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's see if we can do this. All right. From the stretch. Late that time for a strike. He's going to need Yeah, we're in focus mode now. Down a little bit earlier <laughs> if he hopes to be catching yep. up to that fast. No, but I, I I just hope that Cleveland that the Browns I mean sooner or later they got to figure it out, man. Right, right. Fans have been through enough. <clears throat> uh, get up the middle. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Not a boy. Yeah, they just got to stay out of the news. Baker was in the news again this week. OBJ was in the news with the whole LSU. Like slapping the offense. Yeah, I mean, just. Just be boring. <laughs> just be boring. <laughs> just, just be the Patriots. Like. Are we going to have a walk-off scenario here? Uh, gotta check that. He's running. Pitch inside the throw. Oh, that got fastball him. got got me there. Dang it. Is in time as Grandal gets his man. All right. I think it's so hard to steal in this game. I think it's easy to steal in the game, but you just threw me three straight fastballs, so I really uh, Oh, what the heck, man? Be deep enough to get him on first. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'll take it. Dude, let's go Piazza. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> Good lord. Piazza's going walk off for the team he went to the Hall of Fame for. He's set. Here it comes. Swing that was the pitch, out too. In front of a change ah. Hey, what a great pitch right there in a big situation to pull the string on that changeup. He knew that hitter was going to be... Way too many pass balls in this nope, game. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> Way too many pass balls in this you game. You would have gunned me on that one. You would have gunned me. Oh, that was it. Get down. All right. Well, make, making it a game. Let's see here. All right, got to have to go Goose here. Out 26 and 27 are the hardest, although in this case it's not 26 and 27. <laughs> Griffey Jr. over at second. Piazza at first, ah. one gone. No, you don't want that. That's a ball. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll get back in <coughs> as wisely he hadn't committed too strongly toward right, third base. What are you going to do, Roflo? The 2-1. 2-1. Two one. Two one. Ah. Oh. Oh, the 3-2. There you go. Full count now, 3-2. and two. I don't think he can afford it. No oh, right down the middle. And he popped I it know. Uh, 
Whichever one he feels most I was just with, under it. That's the one I expect him to turn to. <clears throat> Jr. Ooh, my heart dropped for a brief second when I, when I released that. Oh, it should have been at Polo Grounds. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a strike. Or that would have been a, a, a home run. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Oh, no. Oh, no. That did not happen. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was ridiculous. <laughs> one ho one run between the two of us. Come yep, on. Yep. That's, that was pathetic. <laughs> That's pathetic. Uh, I apologize for everyone watching for our <laughs> pathetic offensive display. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it happens. It happens. But that was a good one. Uh, yeah, so, man. But yeah, Roflo, I, I enjoy uh, having you on. This was definitely fun. We'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll give you a rematch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Well, that will do it uh, for this edition of uh, Gaming with Derek. Again, that was Roflo, Robert Flores from MLB Network. You see him on MLB Central. You see him on MLB Tonight. Uh, next week, we're working on a, we're working on someone. Hopefully, we'll have Adam Simber on the podcast or on the Playcast. Uh, but I will see you guys later.